I just got this TST e-bike and it's pretty dang cool, but I need your help to make it even better. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. I'm currently outside the Edge of Tech studios that's proudly powered by STL Flix. If you haven't heard of STL Flix, it's like the Netflix of 3D printing and you've got to check it out. There's a link in the description below. So recently TST reached out to see if I want to try out the R002 e-bike. Of course I said yes because I thought it would be an awesome way and more economical way for me to go back and forth from my house to the studio. And I've never tried an e-bike before, so I thought that would be pretty cool. When the box came, it was actually a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be when it showed up. That's a good thing, but it did have a bit of damage. Luckily, everything inside looked like it was fine, so I kept moving. I cut the box open and everything was wrapped and protected as it should be, and it was time to start unpacking the bike. At this point, I had everything unpacked and ready to go, and it was actually a lot less parts to put together than I thought it was going to be. Once I got the handlebars, the front wheel, and the kickstand on, this bike was really taking shape. Not having done this before, it actually took me a little over an hour to assemble everything. But I think it looks super cool, kind of like a moped I used to have when I was younger. And I really actually love that look. Uh, the thing just looks super sharp and even the neighbor came over and, and commented on how cool this thing looks. The battery sits in the center of the frame right here and does have a lock with a key on it. On the other side, you can actually see the on off switch and the charging port of the battery right there. It does have a button on the top that it's kind of hard to see, but if you press it, it shows you how much uh, power is left in your battery just by giving it a quick press. The bike has 20 inch wheels on it with Chow Yang fat tires. I don't know much about these bikes, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but I heard that it's a good thing with those Chow Yang fat tires on it. It has awesome disc brakes front and rear. And in the rear, you actually get a tail light too that doubles as a turn signal right and left if you want it to. It does have a seven speed Shiwano shifter here to go up and down through the gears while you're riding it like a bike, along with uh, brakes on the right and left for your front and rear brakes. There is a screen in the center of the handlebars here, which will tell you a tripometer, it'll tell you the miles per hour, and also which level assistance you're using, zero through, I believe, five. There you go. And don't forget the battery life in the center with those blue battery lights. Uh, so when you're riding, you know how much power you still have before you're gonna have to start pedaling yourself. On the left handlebar are your controls for the screen. That walks you through turning it off and on with this button. Also right here, you can move up and down through your levels of assist through the uh, minus and positive buttons here. And these are your blinkers as well right here. So when you double tap them, it'll actually flash on the screen as you can see right here, like you're gonna go left. And like I said earlier, your taillights double as a blinker and you saw them flashing there when the blinker was on. You can also turn your headlight on from this control panel. Yes, I said headlight by just holding this right here. It does show you that the headlight's on on your screen. And if we come around to the front of the bike, you can see the headlight on right there. So that's pretty cool for riding at night. It is adjustable, so if you want to move it up or down while you're riding, you can do that. I think that's enough about the specs on this bike. We should take this thing for a ride and see how it goes. All right, we're going to take this thing for a ride. I've never filmed like this before, so we're going to see how it goes. We're going to start in level one, if you can see that from here. And we're just going to take off. I'm, I'm kind of going to do pedaling and assist at the same time and see how that goes. So you can see we're just kind of cruising and level one is a little slow. So we're going to kick it up to level two here. It looks like uh, level two is about 13 miles an hour, if you can see that. And I tried to give you a little bit of a, a handlebar view. Again, I've never filmed like this, so I guess we're going to see how it goes. Uh, maybe we kick it up to level three and level three with pedaling looks like let's see here it looks like we're at 15 16 miles an hour right around there uh just kind of cruising around the neighborhood here and this thing rides really good it, it rides as i expect it with the shocks in the front and the rear uh this is my first e-bike experience so i really you know don't have anything else to compare it to but for me i'm a kind of a bigger guy i'm six foot um over 250 right now and this thing rides pretty good. I'm gonna turn my blinker on. We're gonna crank around this corner 
and I think I can turn it off by double tapping again we did so so far so good it's really smooth as you can see we're cooking here uh, let's kick this thing up I think that was actually level four so let's see where level four leaves us and I'm gonna go up a hill when I do this one hi so you can see it's kind of bumpy I'm actually using my pedals at this time I'm not uh, I am not using the, the uh, thumb here. You can actually drive this thing completely without pedals just by holding this trigger uh, right here. Let's see if I can show that on the left side there. Um, otherwise, when you pedal, it'll jump in and it actually assist you. I know this is kind of a bumpy ride, so there is that. So I'm going up a pretty steep hill. It's hard to see from that camera angle, but it's a pretty steep hill and it's cruising me at it about uh, 12 miles an hour here. If I go to five, let's see where I can get to here. If I pedal, it's, it's better. If I pedal, it rock and rolls, but I bounce the camera so much that it's crazy. Um, yeah, we're going like 15 up this hill and that is uh, me not really pedaling at all because I was trying to get it smooth and up a pretty dang steep hill. I'll show you that hill in a second here. I'm going to turn myself around, make sure there's no cars coming. So let's see if I can show a little bit of that hill. It's kind of hard to see from here, but that is uh, like a pretty good, pretty good hill down there. Let's see if I can stop right here and kind of talk here so what I've noticed so far riding this thing is you can kind of see that's a pretty good hill down that way and I just came up it um, what's really nice so far is that when you're cruising you can actually use this right here and it'll just take off uh, it's like your throttle it is your throttle and you don't have to pedal at all you just put your feet up and, and hold on um, you can shift through if you do want to pedal like we talked about but when you touch your brakes it totally cuts out the electric uh, part of the, the motor. Everything just, just, just doesn't keep pulling you or anything. It cuts that part out and it stops really, really well. The shocks here um, in the front are built pretty good for me. I, I mean, again, my first e-bike, my first bike like this, I'd, I'd have to say it did pretty good so far. Um, little shot of the hill there, but so far so good. I think I'm going to keep cruising and uh, I'll get some shots of the bike here in a second um, with me on it and, and stuff like that. I wanted to go cruising through a park that's close to us, but there's something going on with a whole bunch of music and I don't want the music blaring in the background of this video. So I'm gonna kind of give you a more straightforward view so you can see what's happening on this downhill. And uh, let's see how fast we can get this thing going here. Maybe I do need to show the screen if I can. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down this hill now. Let's see how fast I can get going. I have the camera focused, so it should be showing you that screen um, and, and tracking it when I move around. So let's let's see how fast I get going. I'm in, uh, looks like five here. I've gone 0.6 of a mile since we left. And right now I'm at zero. So here we go. Let's see if you can see that. Woo. We're moving now. We're at about 25, 27. Probably hear the wind blowing. We're at 30. I'm gonna start slowing down at 30. Woo. We were at 30, but we were also going down this big hill. I am not pedaling. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm not pedaling at all either, so. <laughs> it was moving. 30, 30 is pretty fast. I'm sure it's because I was pulling down this hill uh, that we got that fast because I think it's supposed to be like 22 or 28 um, top speed here, but we'll take uh, we'll take 30 all day. All right, I'm back from the ride. It was super fun. I hit like 30 miles an hour as we probably saw in that last clip. And I kind of wanted to show you how I fit on this bike. I'm not a small guy. I don't usually do videos like this, but I'm, I'm doing this because I want you to see how I fit on this bike. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm six foot, I'm over 250. Uh, unfortunately, I need to make, I need to get better. I need to be healthy, but this is what I look like uh, riding this bike 
it is, uh, you know, you just kick the kickstand up and you're on your way. I actually really like the fit of this bike. You can adjust the handlebars forward and back if you want it, uh, you know, more forward, more back, whatever you want. But uh, I kind of like this ride right here. This is kind of how I cruise. And once you're ready to go, you just hit that throttle and take off. This thing has so much power too. Uh, right now it's in assist one. And if I hit this, I can pull the front end up pretty dang easy. So that's, that's how much torque and power this thing really does have. Um, it is, it has been so much fun to ride this thing. I, I can't tell you how much fun it's been and how crazy it's been. I've never had a bike where I could pedal and it would actually assist you and take off. Cause this thing, this thing really does take off. I think overall this thing is awesome. It, it's so much fun to ride. And to me, it actually looks more like a moped than a bike. Comment below if you think that same thing. Um, but this has very, very moped-y feels. Is moped-y even a word? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier that I need your help. Well, this thing doesn't have many accessories on it, and I think it's best that we 3D print some for it. Uh, maybe starting with a, a cup holder or something like that, because I really think this probably needs one but leave your comments below about what you think I should 3D print for this bike. Uh, find some models, you can shoot me links, uh, but comment below what you think because I need your help loading this thing up with 3D printed accessories because that would make this thing way more awesome. If you wanna check out the TST R002 uh, e-bike here, there is a link in the description below. You're not gonna believe the price when you click on it. I bet you think it's much more expensive than uh, you'll find when you go to that page. So check it out from the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video completely off what I normally do, but I really like this thing and I can't wait to start going to the studio in this uh, back and forth and not having to jump in the car. That's gonna be pretty dang awesome. Speaking of the studio and making videos, I actually need to head over there and make another one now for a brand new printer. So stay tuned for that. But if you haven't seen this video right here, definitely check that one out next.